Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday the 13th of December. Feels like we're in the uh, Arctic tundra here. Uh, we are way below freezing and still we have snowflakes in parts of the state this morning. Uh, let's look at some of the Skycam shots around the network. First off, coming from Coleman. Uh, Jason's got that thing kind of zoomed into the side of US 278 trying to see if there's any uh, snow dusting there. And it's kind of hard to tell. And obviously, a large chunk of Alabama had zero accumulation as expected. The, uh, the ground did become white across high terrain of northeast Alabama's Jackson, DeKalb, and Cherokee counties. Uh, pretty much what we figured last week. But elsewhere, no accumulation. There's the Decatur Sky Cam. Roads there dry as a bone up in the uh, Tennessee Valley in Morgan County. And it's cold even down south. Didn't that look nice? That's the uh, Sky Cam in Greenville, Alabama. Butler County, the Camellia City. They're deep in the 20s down there. Well, you think it's cold? You bet. Phased up trough, tapping the uh, cross-polar connection there and look at our numbers and actually it's not as cold as forecast but it doesn't really matter because it all feels the same because of the clouds and wind uh birmingham sitting at 23 but you factor in the wind it feels like about 10 uh it's 15 in haleyville that's the cold spot and around the nation you see that source air mass up north as cold as 25 below zero and the core of that and uh, it's nosing down into minnesota where they are buried in snow and that thing just comes all the way down into the deep south and it's below freezing all the way down into central Florida. By the way, there's a look at the uh, uh, surface chart, and that's an amazing shot right there. The surface low that's uh, over upstate New York is 984 millibars. The Arctic high is 1,034 millibars. And don't you know, it's uh, you think it's windy down here. Imagine being up there over uh, uh, sections of Canada just west of that surface low. Yikes. And you can see the... Uh, light snow all the way down from uh, Canada down into uh, Alabama and Georgia. Now, this is fun. Look at the radar. Uh, you, you can see what I believe to be some lake effect snow coming off Lake Logan Martin. Uh, if you look real carefully, you'll see that enhanced finger of heavier snow coming down through parts of uh, Talladega and Clay counties. we got a strong northwest flow coming over the warmer water, and I do believe that's what that is, and that's something so somebody over there on the lee of Lake Logan Martin getting some heavier snow. Check the uh, high top radar up in northeast Alabama. Again, uh, light snow continues there. It's been doing it pretty much off and on for uh, uh, the last, uh, what, 18 hours or so, 24 hours really. Here's our watch warning map. Goodness. Uh, now, this thing was really lit up like a Christmas tree over the weekend. It doesn't look as bad this morning. Uh, what you've got down here, that's mostly wind advisories and wind chill advisories for Alabama, Georgia, down into Florida. Uh, the winter weather advisories extend down into extreme northeast Alabama, uh, Jackson and uh, DeKalb counties, where they've uh, got the uh, uh, ridges up there with some uh, icy travel. The, the schools are closed in Cherokee and DeKalb counties and also in parts of Tennessee and on up north. All right, but really our attention here, as you know, is always focused on the future, so let's look ahead. This is the QPF chart, the expected precipitation for the next five days, valid through uh, Friday evening at uh, 6 o'clock, and this has rain amounts of about uh, uh, one-half inch over the northern third of the state, and the problem is going to be the onset of that rain Wednesday morning. Will we see some freezing rain? That's going to be a tough call, and I don't think we can make it really at this point on a reliable basis. Let's look at modeling. This is the... OZGFS at noon today. Trough beginning to rotate east. We've still got strong winds and strong cold air advection. You think it's going to warm up today? Forget about it. Uh, we stay in the 20s all day. I know that the, the uh, GFS is showing 31. I think that's a pipe dream. Uh, we'll be in the 20s. The dew point will drop down to uh, temp below zero values today. And those strong winds of uh, 15 to 30 miles an hour will keep the wind chill index in the single digits at times. Uh, tomorrow, still cold. The high is almost right over us. And uh, lows will drop down into the uh, mid-teens. The colder valleys have a great chance of reaching the single digits tomorrow morning. It'll be very interesting to see the low at places like Collinsville and Valley Head and Broomtown tomorrow morning. Can't wait. Still, the high will be in the mid-30s. We're going to struggle to climb above freezing tomorrow. 
And then Wednesday, the Wednesday morning is going to be cold. Uh, the, the GFS has us down to 22. And yeah, here's the problem, overrunning. Um, you've got the warm, moist air going up and over the shallow, cold air at the surface. And you can see the GFS is depicting some freezing rain. And by the way, this is uh, valid at noon on Wednesday. Some freezing rain for the northern third of the state. And really, in a case like this, the best thing to do is to go to the RPM, uh, which is a higher resolution model. Uh, this is valid at 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. And what you see all that uh, white there, that is light freezing rain uh, over the northern part of the state. And uh, again, uh, let's look at the temperature scheme. These are two meter temperatures uh, valid this exact same time. This is 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. And, and the freeze line is uh, around Fayette to near Anayana and then uh, deep down into East Alabama, almost down to Roanoke. And uh, anything that would be falling north of that line would be freezing rain, and there could be some icing problems with this cold ground uh, on bridges and overpasses and exposed surfaces. Now, it's not going to be a long-duration problem like 1980 or something when we had that massive ice storm because we'll warm up in a hurry. But having said that, there's no doubt uh, every model, the synoptic models, these mesoscale models, have given us clues that for a time we will deal with some freezing rain Wednesday morning, and we'll mention that in the forecast. The extent of the problem, the timing, we just don't know that yet. This is a very, very hard call. Uh, but just be aware that uh, we could see some issues Wednesday morning, anytime from 6 until maybe early afternoon, 6 a.m. till early afternoon. This latest run really doesn't bring the precipitation in until mid-morning, so maybe we can make it through morning dry, but we sure can't guarantee that without any issues. So just be aware that is on the table. And then Thursday, the warm front moves north of us, and we're, and we're considerably warmer. Uh, the, uh, the GFS in fact, showing a high of 63. I don't know if we make it that far up there, but it should be a considerably warmer day with a few periods of rain as the warm front is to the North and there's Friday. We're kind of in a dry slot as the upper support moves on by the front backs to the South a little bit, highs drop back down to 50. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, you can see a short wave coming at us and there's a surface low developing in the Gulf. And now yeah, you know now, come on, uh, the, the, remember that much of the nation is snow-covered now to the north, and sometimes the models don't do well on thermal values, and uh, you have to wonder if there might be some kind of issues with snow or uh, sleet or ice uh, early Wednesday with this thing, somewhere maybe north of us in Tennessee, maybe extreme north Alabama. Again, we don't even try and go there yet. Uh, for now, we'll just mention a, a cool, rainy day. I think that's the best thing to do. There's the 850 millibar look for Saturday at uh, midday, and the uh, freeze line at 5,000 feet is near Muscle Shoals, uh, near the northwest corner of the state. That's a close call, but for now, we'll just say a cool rain. Uh, Saturday night, the surface low deepens and cold air pulls in behind it. That could be a pretty good snow maybe for Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge uh, up there in East Tennessee in the mountains in North Carolina. And then Sunday at noon, that surface low is deeper just off the Atlantic coast. Again, that could be a good snowstorm for Washington, D.C. and Baltimore with a nor'easter cranking up. And uh, cold here, not as cold as this, but Sunday could be windy and cold if this is right. With a high only maybe in the low 40s or something like that. And then a week from today, we moderate a little bit. We'll start the day with a cold morning, but maybe warm up into the 50s. All right, Christmas fans, here's Christmas Day. We've seen a lot of looks out here. Uh, it, the 18Z run yesterday showed a whopper of an Arctic blast with a 540 line almost down to Tampa Bay. And we'd be like in the, you know, we wouldn't get past the low 20s, but this run is not as cold. Uh, it's got a, a cool air mass coming down the pike, but the next day it does get cold. This is the 26th, the day after Christmas, and uh, uh, snow flurries down into Tennessee and northeast Alabama. So, uh, you know, we've seen evidence out there. And then on the 27th, we start to moderate. And on the 28th, uh, it's dry and warmer, but... You know, this is all voodoo. But look at the Arctic Oscillation. This is a cousin of the North Atlantic Oscillation. Again, you can see that thing is almost off the chart negative down there uh, for the latter half of December. So, again, it just would seem that uh, we have a chance of it being below average, certainly at Christmas. But how cold? We don't know that yet. At the end of this week, we'll give you an idea. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video, uh, Weather Extreme video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. That's ABC 33 at 40 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.